Okay, so I think where I want to go next is kind of being able to have this conversation now in the Canadian context. You know, we've talked about the history of enslavement in terms of how that influenced the agriculture, the types of food that were being made and the people that were making it. Um, we've talked about how enslavement has um, influenced the teachings and the disciplines of chefs um, and their accesses to power and being chefs have also shaped and molded the America's uh, landscape. I've been able to kind of catapult that forward into how that directly affected, you know, legislation and laws and policies and like tangible rights. Um, and then how that conversation is still being had as it needs to be. Um, and that we're enforcing that, you know, a critical lens be put on when you are researching the black community and food. Um, look at the silences, look at the erasures, be critical of, um, be critical of the information. To beef up the conversation even more, I now need to bring it to Canada. Let's talk about Canada, let's talk about Toronto. Um, and one of the first things that I look to is prominent features. So someone like Eden Hago, who is the creator of Black Foodie. It's a social um, media platform that looks to discuss food through the black lens. She shares recipes, she highlights different chefs, um, she has education pieces on ingredients, on, you know, I think right now she has one on Champagne 101. Um, so she does a really, really good job of highlighting the black community and the black food contributions and exposing how to celebrate, um, how to celebrate black food through different events that she hosts. And so I think it's great to, um, give spotlight to and contribute to the conversations that people like Eden are trying to have and just again really bringing attention to the contributions that the black community have had on food culture and highlighting you know the history the recipes and the people behind um, what we know today as being black food culture so keep up the good work Eden I want to be able to continue to have the conversation I want to be able to continue to highlight um black individuals in the food community and I want to be able to look at it through the Canadian lens so, you know, I want to be able to talk about people like Suzanne Barr. I want to talk about people like Adrian Fort. And I want to talk about people like Angela Lawrence, for example, um, and their contributions to the Canadian black food scene. And so I think that's where we're going to go next. So if you like it, subscribe and you'll get to know what happens.